Hello everyone, we are Migis and we are passionate about food and travel. And today we are happy to introduce a special, a really specific vending machine. Yes. You can find only in Switzerland this yeah. vending machine. I never see the other country. <laughs> yeah, even in Japan is a lot yeah. of vending machines. You will never find this one. Mm -hmm. So this one is a specific, you can read here, is for fondue and raclette. I will show you where it is. So this is the vending machine. So it's inside of this small wood house to protect so it's open 24 hours. It can rain, snow, whatever. The vending machine is always here. So if you're a little bit hungry at night time, you can come and you can use it. So what you can find inside, we have, you can have bread, it's a frozen one, huh? you have to warm up at home. We have fondue for different size, that is for four people, three people, two people, and you have also raclette, that is raclette, and some drinks. So it's, it's pretty easy to, to use, you just need to push this button, and inside it's turning around. So you, you, you turn until you find what you want. So today we wanna get the fondue for two people. I turn and I get. And here I got my fondue. As you can see, is only a small piece of uh, cheese. So now we need to, to warm up and I will show you it's a kind of a small specialty to make it. So now let's find a nice spot to make it and I will show you how we do it. So I'm sure you start to be hungry. Definitely us, we are starting to get hungry. I get my fondue. It's it's a little bit small package, but it will be enough for two people. So let's go. I really think we found a fantastic spot yes. and with a view which is just amazing. Yeah. Follow us, we will show you that. From here, we can see all the Swiss Alps. So look at that from my back. You can see from my back here, you can see all the Swiss Alps. I will show you that more in uh, with pre precision. So before we start cooking, I will introduce a little bit what we need. So we need, definitely, this pot is not a standard less. This one is terracotta, so that really need. After that, we need this small gel, which we can put to warm up. After that, I will light up. And to regulate the temperature is just this small hole. So, but it's pretty easy. Then, definitely the cheese. That is a Gruyere. And also, let me say, and Vashra is a mix. You need white wine and definitely bread. We will cut in a small dice. So we will, the first thing is to do, also black pepper. So the first things to do, open the package, you can see, 
This quantity is for two people. So some white wine. White wine. Some black pepper. A bit. Now we will light up. See? All right. And slowly, this one we mix, it will melt. Now it's like that. Like you can see, it's a small piece of cheese. Mix. All right. Nice. Ah, really? Look at that. Soon ready? Yes. So soon we can mm. eat. Okay. Let us look. You can come, Gino. Now it's ready. Ooh. Ah, really? Yes. Wow. Looks so creamy. Wow, so creamy. So let's try. Become super creamy. So let's try. Yes. You can try one. Mm -hmm. One for me. Wait. Like that will be fantastic. Ooh la la. Super creamy. Ooh, nice, huh? Really nice. Yeah. Let's have a taste. Yeah. It's hot. I think it's hot. Yeah, be careful. Mmm. Mm. So tasty. Good really man. good. Mm. And nice and warm. And creamy. Which is uh, this panorama mm. behind us. Just pleasure. Yes. Wow. Wow. Can I? <laughs> can't stop. Yeah, I can't stop. What is important all the time when you eat fondue is always have to be on the move, always turning right. to avoid it burn. So always have to turn. Mm -hmm. Look at that, so creamy. Mm, and nice and creamy, yeah? Yeah, now really nice and creamy. We'll become specialists. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh. And this one, if it's snowing, even more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we will do sometimes, after ski or when it's snowing, mm. with uh, powder snow, mm. and we make a um, fondue. Also, <laughs> raclette is really yum. Mm. But today, it just found you. Right. Also, a small advice, when you buy bread, mm. it's often the best way to get the best bread is to buy the be day before. So when you use the day after, it's a little bit dry, so you absorb all the, mm -hmm. the moisture and the, from the, the, the cheese, the melty cheese, and it, it's more compact and uh, it become more yum. Mm. So that's why also when you put the fork, it's easy to keep. Because if when it's too fresh, it's too too soft and yeah. uh, doesn't work really well. Mm. 
because if too much soft, it's yeah. easy to fell down inside of the cheese. Yeah, exactly. You fell down inside of the pot. So, so keep it in mind. Buy the bread before. Mm. One day before it's enough. I like a little bit with the crust. Yeah. And become more chewy. And crunchy. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I nearly the end. I nearly finished. <laughs> I will show you the end. Mm. As you can see, it's all finished. Quick, quick, quick. But is one last tip, the best part, which I really love, you know. That is a little bit burn. Look, so goldy. <laughs> that is the best part you can get. At the end of the fondue, always this best part. I love it. Mm, that is without bread, just as it is. A little bit roasted. <laughs> Look at that. So it's the end of today, Yeah. sadly, yeah. but we can stay long because uh, pretty cold. Yeah, also the become dark. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit dark as well. Yeah. And uh, also a little bit, uh, we finish all the fondue, so yeah. it's time to go. <laughs> yeah, really quick. I hope you enjoy to watch this video. Thank you so much. And uh, if you enjoy, please give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And if you know already subscribe, please yeah. click subscribe button mm -hmm. and as usual if you have any comment or any thinking or you want to share some opinion with us please leave us a comment below yeah and uh, we will reply to you soon mm -hmm. so see you next video take care and bye, bye.